YouTube, 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 what it do? It's your boy Big Trev G. I got a video for y'all. This one here, man, we finna go back and see how it all started, man, with Go Yayo, yeah, Trap Boy, Freddy, Mo3, Yellow Beezy, all the way from the beginning, man. Cause I see a lot of people talking about this shit. TP from the city. So yeah, we finna get into it, man. Y'all hit the like button, subscribe, get at me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Aight. Let's go. Is there any, when it comes to the DFW, are there any Dallas artists that you do wanna work with? Shit, a few Dallas artists I really fuck with. Trap Boy Freddy, I was the one because I feel like shit. If he, I feel like if, if you gotta relive what you talk about. Nigga wanna pull up on me, nigga listen to my rap and be like, damn, what the nigga yo yo doing? You pull up on me and I'ma show you. Shit, you wanna hear what I rap about? You pull up on me, I'ma show you. But nigga say, nigga say, goddamn me. I want to fuck with Trap Boy Freddy because I feel like he living what he talk about. I been fuck with the running mother L and shit, Trap Boy Freddy. This cross, how long? And Mo three, the other nigga, how long? Oh yeah, we got some live shit for you right now. His image is one of drug use and violence, yet this rapper was brought into a Fort Worth middle school to get kids excited for star testing. The community is angry, saying this is not the influence they want on their kids. The district blames the appearance on a radio station, but the station says it brought in a, a different artist. Here's News State's Lawrence account. By the sounds of it, you'd think this was the start of a concert. <laughs> What you're seeing in these YouTube videos was actually a pep rally for the star test at Morningside Middle School in Fort Worth. And this Big old dude, what the was the man hyping up the kids, a local rapper named Go Yayo. Where's the AK with the heat stick? This is the music video for his hit, Boom God. So I'm still in awe, I'm still in shock. Charleston White and Jesse Taylor, who run a local mentoring nonprofit, are amongst those calling foul on Fort Worth ISD. I done got shot when I was 15, my cousin was murdered all over this rap stuff. Wondering why the school would bring this person to speak to middle schoolers. Very distasteful, very extremely distasteful. And someone should be held accountable. She didn't approve that person uh, coming. District spokesman Clint Bond says the school principal didn't know Yayo would be part of the rally on May 6th, saying a radio station brought him. The radio station says absolutely not. Yayo's appearance had nothing to do with them. There was some sort of miscommunication. I don't know what it is, but I can tell you that uh, it probably won't happen again. And another kind of thing we're going to say, stay in school. One, two, three. Even though Yayo's speech did focus at times on encouraging the kids, White and Taylor worry about what kids will see when they Google it. Uh, my beef is not with Yayo at all. Um, my beef is with Forward Fire Steve. Yayo's manager backed out of our interview and did not give us a statement, as promised. In Fort Worth, Lawrence Akalik, Channel 8 News. In 2016, the state of Texas was about to make its presence felt for the second time in the rap game. But this time around, the spotlight will really get shined on the city. Would you look at this? It's a half pint film, bitch! Say 
young nigga get money, we ain't worried about Nike. Illegal lights, illegal water, young nigga trapping out of bike. Yeah. When I enter the room, young nigga bringing the boom like, like, like a typhoon. Who fight part two coming soon? I'm more gold than that Pharaoh and Toon. Young nigga boom. This was a new sound in the city, and a lot of people gravitate toward it. And in those days, it was a formula. You had to have Sean on the beat produce it. You had to have Half Pint shoot the video and say cheese to post it. And it worked. Yale had the hottest two songs in the city. And a lot of people also tuned in to his beat with Stop Six Low Key and Spud Boom. This shit is real hood content, nigga. Fuck hood, fuck hood, fuck Real shit, who is that, nigga? Yeah, nigga. Catch me in traffic, who is that, nigga? I'm Spud Boom, bitch. I'm the original boom, bitch. Ain't no problem with me, who is that, nigga? Kill me, beat, nigga. Gang. I don't look how I'm fucking yeah, yo. Tell my niggas go find me. He told me pull up, but really he high. Shoot up his house and bring her her side. It's a homicide on the southwest side. Where you were raised, your life is a lie. You never had a hustle, might as well get a job. You went to Atlanta, act like you get signed. Niggas is no competition at all. I so pussy that I miss. I miss. Now during this time, Goyeo would beef with damn near every Fort Worth rapper that was coming up. Also, a beef with him and Dallas rapper BFG Strap would start after Yeo got paid for a feature and didn't follow through. Yeah, that my mixtape was dropping the next day, and I got a song called Power Part Two, to where I gotta get. Let me get this video out first. I ain't had no problem with doing that video. I wanted to get mine out first, cause this is my lingo. This is. Now thank God nothing happened in this situation other than a couple of diss songs on Instagram Live. The next beef would be with Mo3. Nana was scared to get on the phone. Nana was scared to get on the phone, so he put Yeo on the phone, you know? So, uh, a couple days ago, a couple days ago, Yeo pulled up at the studio, uh, Cuban dog. Me, Cuban, and Yeo just did a little track real quick. It was supposed to be some low-key little friction between me and Yeo, you understand me, you know? But it really wasn't nothing when it came down to it. So, you know, y'all seen the status like, what, what, about day four yesterday? Uh, none I say, yeah, yo, I'm all three, y'all some pussy ass niggas, ass some blah, 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 blah. I'm finna tell y'all why that happened. So, boom. Yeah, yo, tell me, yeah, yo, tell me. None I say he was gonna slap you on crib. So I'm like, we at the studio. So I say, damn. Nana say you gonna slap me. I say, Nana couldn't have said that, cause I just talked to Nana. Nanizza. I just talked to you, you couldn't have said that. But I understand you young and you reckless, you don't know no better. So I understand you got around him and you played the uh, fuck Mo3 role. You, you got around Yayo and played that old fuck that bitch ass nigga, yeah. So this is what caused the fallout with Mo3 and Go Yayo. Later on, Yeo would tell Mo3 that he couldn't come back to Fort Worth. Mo3 would then get booked for a show at an after hour spot in Fort Worth called Club Found. And on this night, shit hit the fan. A 31-year-old man died early Tuesday morning after he was shot at a nightclub on Saturday, according to the Fort Worth Police Department. Just after 4 a.m., police were called to reports of several shots fired at Club Phantom, near the Interstate 20 and I-35 Watts interchange, according to Officer Daniel Segura, a police spokesman. A few minutes later, a man who had been shot multiple times in the upper torso at the club showed up at a Fort Worth hospital. Hector Wilkins died Tuesday at the hospital, according to the Tarrant County Medical Examiner. The shooting appears to be gang-related and the FWPD gang unit took over the investigation. Mo3 would later on be picked up and charged with that shoot. So then in 2017, there was a shooting that happened at a nightclub. Mm. And uh, you got arrested for that. Yeah. What were they trying to blame you for? A shooting. Okay, so you got arrested for that shooting. Yeah. Uh, what ultimately happened with that case? It's over. I mean, I mean it, got, it got dropped? It's over. It's over. It's okay. There's no case. There's no case. Shout out to the phone, man. I see a phone before work. I just want to phone with a couple of pictures. Now the cold part about this situation is that the man that lost his life was the club promoter. He ain't had nothing to do with they beef. Rest in peace, Herb. When baby Herb got killed, that shit have woke up a lot of you niggas. Let me tell y'all something. When that shit went down with baby Herb, the niggas was right here in the murder. Right in the middle. BTs, nigga. Right in the fucking middle. How the fuck did a nigga make it out of Fort Worth, nigga? How the fuck did niggas mow three nil make it out of Fort Worth back then? I can't, I, let me shout out to Mo3, what's up, slime? Shout out to that nigga, cuz. Cuz guess what? 
That young blood nigga didn't do nothing but what a real nigga would have did. If y'all have cornered me in, I'd have killed one of you motherfuckers. I'd have shot down, I'd have shot my way up at this motherfucker. I'd have fought my way up at this motherfucker too, nigga. That nigga Mo3 didn't do nothing but what the fuck he was supposed to. I was mad at the time. But then, that's because I reacted. But when I sit back and I proacted and I thought about what the fuck just happened, I couldn't even blame Cuz for being a real nigga. Blood. I couldn't blame Blood for being a real nigga. Because of the situation he was put in. He was put in a situation. Not to prove he was what he was about. But to show you niggas that's what he was about. You niggas put him in a situation and didn't even show that y'all was about that. And got a nigga killed. Nothing to do as bad that. as we all want to see Mo3 on pick six, after all that happened, there's no way it would have worked out. Meanwhile in Dallas, a beef will begin to sizzle after Yellow Beezy and his crew jumped comedian Roy Lee after Roy Lee made comments about Yellow Beezy in the interview. Hey, to start this off, man, how did all the drama pop out? I thought y'all, I thought y'all was alright at first. Yeah, I did the Real Life Street Star interview. You know, I'm talking about Tupac, Biggie, and you know, just, just all that. But then I guess everybody caught it when I said you can claim Oak Cliff America till you go to Oak, till, you, till you get robbed. You see what I'm saying? So I guess everybody caught it. So I did an interview with uh, Hit That Nim and he called up there. You know, like you ain't go to school in Oak Cliff. He ain't go to schools in Oak Cliff and all that. So he, you know, so now I seen him at King of Diamonds and uh, and he tried to sneak me, and 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 she, I got jumped a little bit by his partner and him, but he ain't hit me, so that's why I want to fight a one on one. Fuck that, Rolly. Where you from? Dixon. Oh, where he from? He from Lancaster. No, where you oh, from? I'm from Dixon. <laughs> I ain't hating. I did an interview and I was talking about some shit. I ain't lying. The interview, but the, but if hey, I, I ain't lying. The interview. Go check it out. Real life street stars. Ain't lie. Now all Roy Lee wanted to do was fight Yellow Beezy head up. He even offered the boxing for twelve thousand dollars. What the fuck is you over here doing? Getting ready for the fight, twelve thousand dollars. Boy, you as dumb as you look. Twelve thousand dollars trying to get ready for it. What fight you getting ready for, boy? For the fight, trying to get this shit ain't out no, my Ain't chest. nobody gonna fight. He ain't gonna fight? No. So you telling me he's a grown man, he ain't gonna step up to I the plate? I don't know about none of that. I just know he haven't responded. I've been watching. It's Man. not a fight, you childish. Let's I stop. am not childish. <laughs> you boy, come out. I'm ready to knock some What is you knocking out? I'm ready you... to knock him out. I'm ready to win. The winner, Roy Lee, the comedian. Knocked out a motherfucking rapper. Boy. Why I can't do that? Why I gotta squash something? And they the ones jump me. Why I gotta do that? Why? Okay, they jumped you, let it go. Why I gotta let, let something go? go? Why they saving him like they walked him to church last week? Why? Right. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. Come on, man. God damn. Hey, everybody gonna see that you ain't speaking up for yourself. You a grown man. You ain't speaking up for yourself. You can't act like you too busy. Everybody busy. Everybody got something going on in life. So what you gonna do? I wanna fight for $12,000 in the ring for the kids' charity for $12,000 and we give it to whoever. That's easy. If you don't wanna do that, just call me and we squash it that kind of way. But I need to hear something. Extortion. That's what it's gonna turn into because everybody see that you're not speaking up. You're not talking for yourself, P. Point blank period. I'm serious. Extortion. Y'all say it with me. Oh, that bitch sound good. You gonna get it started, P. You gonna get it started. That's gonna be funny. Extortion, how much you all in the city? How much you all in that city? Ooh. Extortion, and your partner them ain't gonna like that. How you gonna get extortion? Nigga, you don't go with him. Down nah, now, nah, nigga. You can't wave right. You don't go with him. He don't let you go with him. Extortion, they gonna extort him in every city. Ooh. Extortion, you ain't say nothing to Roy Lee. Let me take your chains. You ain't say nothing to him. Extortion. $12,000, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? It's your life, smile every day, fuck whatever you gotta say. Boom on the hate nigga ass. Looking back in hindsight, man, I kinda do wish Ray Lee would've let that shit go. But at the same time, you really can't blame him. Niggas always want they lick back, man. You're not finna just hit me and I can't get at you. You know what I'm saying? It don't work like that. So I understand his frustration straight up. But unfortunately, Ray Lee would be shot sitting in his car after he had went to go pick up a back end. I had surgery yesterday. Doing 
good. I just wish they would have gave me an icebox and microwave. Baby, no. Yeah. Roy Lee would later pass away from complications from his injury. And after this one, things would never be the same. See, sometimes you just got to get your hands dirty so you can live clean. The bigger the city, the bigger the dream. This dirty, dirty Dallas, homie. You can call it the triple D. Police say 26-year-old DeAndre Conway was shot three times and was still conscious and breathing when he was transported to a nearby hospital. Conway told investigators he was out with friends and had dropped them off in Louisville and was on his way home when he was fired on. Police say more than a dozen rounds were fired into Conway's vehicle. Investigators are hoping businesses and or tollway cameras will lead them to the suspects. Investigators say it's unclear if Conway knew who fired the shots or if the attack was random. The Heavenly Father, I know that I've seen In the city they talk and they know what I did For real, I hit up that rap when you made him famous Yeah, he barely made it, but we're not a game Cash. All I see is yellow, tape and Beretta I said I ain't lagging, don't think that I'm me I'm You making all this talking about you done hit sprinters up, boy Stop playing with us Oh, my mom shot the toy, boy you rapping good in the hole, boy. You need to cut it out, boy. Nigga, wipe your nose. These good rapping ass niggas be having y'all food. And four words, y'all so weird. My city, weird in the bitch. This nigga was hoes just. Y'all remember? Y'all was talking shit when half died the day before. Everybody was like, oh shit, yeah, yo, they ran mo through you out the club. And Moo ran him out the city. Yeah, yo, be tripping. He back on this shit. Then that nigga half died the next day, and y'all was like, ah, oh, fuck, yeah, yo, that nigga such, such, all that weird gay ass shit. I don't give a fuck, nobody gonna fuck me, though. But I'm saying, though, like, a month later, y'all was singing the shit out there, and I, uh, 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 all that fuck shit. Stop playing me. Stop playing me. Y'all niggas singing all this Sierra song and shit. This nigga stole Sierra song. Y'all just really loving that shit. Now, around that same time, Trap Boy Freddy's Sprinter Band would get shot up. But after these two hits, Mo3 would take a loss. If Tanya McDaniel challenging the Dixon Avenue area of South Dallas to break the silence and speak about the murder of James Browning Jr. Who was known as Bubba to his family, friends, and community. Um, that's what I refer to him from here on out as Bubba, was shot and killed at this location. March 13th in the 3700 block of Dixon Street in front of Dixon Grocery. The employees know him. They didn't have a problem with him being here uh, until all of a sudden, uh, some guys drive through in a white SUV looked to be like a Dodge Durango coming down Dixon. Bubba is standing right next to the front of the door, just hanging out, standing calmly, not being bothered, obviously not knowing what these guys were about to do to him. And then they begin shooting? Once they pull around to the side of the building, they stop. Two of those individuals get out in dark clothing. Uh, one seems to be a, a lighter skinned male, one seems to be a darker skinned male. Uh, the driver stays in the car. But Bubba might have felt like something was up. Watch. He glances at the white SUV going round back. As soon as it's out of his sight, he casually starts to walk away. He's in the parking lot and takes a quick look over his right shoulder just before the bullets fly. They come out with their long guns. As soon as they get to their corner, they're already up and start firing their Bubba. I never need a house when I'm a strap. I'm a keep that after Bubba got killed, Trap Boy Freddy would take losses. That'll be cause a lot of an apartment building located at 1400 West Wheatland Road. Dallas Fire Rescue responded to the scene. One of the victims was in critical condition, suffering a wound to the head. The other victim suffered a less serious wound. Both victims were transported to a local trauma center for care. Police believe the two men were about to get into a car when the unknown suspects opened fire. Dozens of casings were located. Still early in the investigation, police have no motive and no suspects. Every time somebody got shot, Mo3 would rap about it. There was a lot going on in the city at that time, 
and Mo3 will make it a point to capitalize off of every situation. Look, how the fuck up? I cannot believe my motherfucking eyes. Bitch, is my puss ass up laid up in a hospital talking about he got in the car wreck? Boy, fuck that, talking about you broke your leg. Tell these niggas you really got hit up. Yeah, puss ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga, you capping. Nigga, you got hit up. Everybody know you got hit up when you pussy ass went to the hospital. You tell the people don't record it. Don't put it out there. Woo -woo, Cause you want you want motherfuckers to think in the city you untouchable. Nah, bitch, it's pressure. Nigga, somebody broke his leg in a car wreck. You goofy in the hole. I bet your partner sent up that nigga like, bro. So he just gonna act like he ain't get shot. Couple weeks ago, he gonna act like nigga ain't hit him, hit him up and and be live. Stop playing. I don't know who did it, I'm just saying. Why you capping like your leg got broken in a car wreck? Puss ass back up down. Yeah, nigga. A week after this video was made, Mo3 would be shot and killed on I-35. Man, we got the motherfucking freeway blocked off. Need to get y'all shit together, dog. God damn. Nick ain't get on the fucking freeway. Man, law got the freeway blocked off all the way on Pope, dog. The fuck they got going? What's that? Yeah, I got my brother shit today. Nah, we covered it. He's just fucking around. Fuck around. I'm gonna pop some bottles, bitch. It's bottle popping time. Half party time. Butt naked time. A Dallas rapper was murdered outside of his car on I-35 near the Dallas Zoo. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. I'm Heather Hayes. It is a stark example of the city's struggle to control violent crime. Police say the victim, a hip-hop musician named Mo3, was approached by the killer on I-35. Both men stopped their vehicles. The victim got out, took off, started running, but was shot several times on the highway. A bystander inside another vehicle was also hit. Police arrested Kiwan Dottrell White for the murder of Mo3. According to the arrest affidavit, a witness contacted police during the investigation and provided information that led to the arrest of the 22-year-old suspect. White, who goes by the name King Banzo, was taken into federal custody on charges of murder and prohibited person in possession of a firearm. At times, I wonder how things would have been if Mo3 would have never went to federal. Or if Yellow Beezy and Roy Lee would have just fought and got out the way. Or why didn't Mo3 and Roy Lee just leave them niggas alone? You can sit and wonder all day you can even place blame on everybody from the artists to the fans, the blogs, the industry, not nizzle, etc. But instead of doing all that, how can we make sure that something like this never happens again? The only thing that this beef did was brought out the beast in these rappers and they made a whole lot of bank. But that doesn't account for the families that's mourning the loss of their loved ones. It's safe to say that this rap shit is a blessing and a curse. Rest in peace to all the fallen. But until next time, y'all hit the like button, subscribe, get at me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Aight! Right, let's go! I ain't want nothing more, bro. See, I understand the game and the bigger picture, like with the higher ups. See, when you get around the higher up, your mind expand. They show you shit different, how to look at shit. But, bro, it wouldn't have been nothing better for the city. Just for the culture of Dallas, if all them niggas could have got along. I'm a city. I ain't afraid to see it. To think about it 2015 shout out Ticketmaster. we seen we seen it after we watch motherfucking me uh that nwa video nigga come on man it's gonna be trap boy mo3 yellow beezy and my nigga maserati free my nigga yeah. then was gonna be the niggas Thanks. and who was standing in the middle of that motherfucker you, i remember that we episode. seen it yeah we seen the what four the fuck front nigga. <laughs> man know what i'm saying what's so crazy know what i'm saying like before like when the song was supposed to got done the, the nigga who was doing the recording because they, they had some songs together. The nigga who was doing recording couldn't do uh, three with the right auto tune. So did nobody record. And after that, it just went left, my nigga. Niggas tell me. I say I got you, I got you. When it's fucked up and get fucked up, just hold it down and keep it silent. And when you're not around, I protect your name. I won't let a nigga talk about you. Pussy hey. niggas killed half, went back to their city. Club still playing that music. DJ fucking with him. Oh, laughing about it on the book. Nigga making status. What? Make a nigga get on 30. Take a trip to Dallas. Then they want to blame the youngster. Like he made him shoot. No Shit, they need to blame security. Want to know the truth. Ooh. They hit my nigga eight times. Hop back in the coop. Hit 35 going off. Right on 20 loop.
My nigga Reggie hit my line, gave me the scoop. 4 a.m. I grabbed a chopper, laced up my boots. Doctor says no visits, he in ICU. I kept hearing different stories, I can tell a few. I seen when shit got real, you can see the fake. Read these niggas' comments, I can feel the hate. I can fuck a nigga, bitch, take her out of state. I can have a swimming with the dolphins, fuck a dinner date. Can't forget Twisted Black, real gon' relate. I did it out of love, so you don't owe me. We really ain't the same, that's what it showed me. You're speaking on my name like you don't know me. You went against the grain, can't let you hold me. Man, y'all just tuned in to TPTV Live. Man. Hit the like button. I like you like it. I know you like watching. Hit the like button.